Good morning, everybody. It is eight o'clock on Second Cup. Look how tall I am. Yeah. Look at we're like. Are you? I, I put my chair up. Okay. Should I put it down a little bit. No, you're fine. We're like eye level. Oh, there yeah. we go. <laughs> there we go. This is my. Here's me. Oh, I know you shuffle. My all knees over are like, hitting the top. Like I'm kid over there. Yeah. Oh. So no place to put my legs. Hi, everybody. Let's sit like sideways for the next 25 minutes. Happy Monday. <laughs> Boy, it's been a Monday here, Aaron. Oh my gosh, it's been a day. Yes, hopefully you're having a, a day. great start to your work and school week. We've got Edward on vacation this week, so he's out. Yeah. I wonder where, is he going to chime in? Oh, I don't know. I doubt it. You know he's having a great time somewhere. If he's out, it's 8 o'clock. He's probably already having a great time. <laughs> he's watching Second Cup. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's see who misses me. <laughs> no kidding. Yes. Um, hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us. Got some good things to talk about today. Um, first, we're going to talk about summer camps Ooh. because I think that a lot of parents, so Adam did a story on summer camps this morning. And even after that, like a lot of parents were already reaching out, like oh, wow. talking about some people can't find them. Some people are looking for other options. So he's going to try to follow up on that for you tomorrow, too. Um, did you ever put your kids in summer camp? I'm sure you did. Like an ex the whole summer? I mean, we're talking about all different kinds of summer camps. Uh, sports camps. Oh, camps, we would do a lot of like... Stuff to keep them going while you're at work. That is the biggest obstacle for the summer. Like kids are like, oh, summer break. And parents are like... Oh, summer break. <laughs> you know, and you know, just the simple things. Like you work all day and you come home and you're like, hey, can someone take out the garbage? Who's not named dad? you know, because you've been doing nothing all day. Well, and so, also yeah. like a lot of people, we know school is not supposed to be directly like childcare, but like, let's be real, you know, your kids are at school, you know, so when you are well, working full time and you need childcare in the summer. Yeah, a lot of times you, they get on the bus, then you go to work and then you get home. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. So we did some camps last year, some of the like week camps. Yeah. I think it's good just to keep people busy. Well, so chime in, let us know if you um, have a good idea when it comes to different summer camps or anything that we didn't think about. Um, we're also going to talk about, they're called sleep unders. Have you heard what a sleep under is? They're oh, trying to explain it to me that it was reminded. So a lot of parents fuzzy. don't like to have their kids do sleepovers anymore. Cause like, we just know too much these days. And like, if you yeah. don't know the family super well, Oh yeah, no, you're you about to send your kids there. You're right. You're right. Right. I'm a, you know me, mm -hmm. my I I, everything. I watch too much Law and Order, so <laughs> like I would probably be very uncomfortable with that. So we're going to talk about that coming up. Would you let your kids do a sleepover? And then this is another, like kind of like an option if you're not going to let kids do that. Oh. It's, also, it's also restaurant week. So. Oh, I know. One of my favorites because a lot of things are what 20, 24? Yeah, it's like um, dinner start at twenty five and lunches start at fifteen. I think. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's great because fast food is the other day I went to a fast food place and for me and Brady, it was like 30 bucks. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's crazy. I'm not getting one cheeseburger. So, you know, we both get value meals. And, oh, sure. Make it large. And, and then hey, that'd be 29. I'm like, excuse me. That's crazy. Yeah. OK, so Julie says parenting so expensive or grandson loves summer camp. Kelly says Camp Spirit in North Tonawanda, a good summer camp. OK, let's mm. bring in Adam. Howard says, summer camp. My camp was working on a local dairy farm, canning veggies in the summer before his parents got home. A good learning camp nowadays, much different. All right, we're going to bring in Adam because he's talking all about this. Adam, good morning to you. Um, let's talk about what parents told you about summer camp. Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, so, yeah, so there a lot of people were concerned about it. I mean, as soon as I posted into just one Facebook group, it was the What's Going On in Hammers, New York uh, Facebook group, just asking them, hey, like, this is a story we're working on. We've been seeing it on socials that people are having trouble signing up their kids for uh, summer camp. And it just immediately just popped off with people saying availabilities, the prices, the timing of it. I mean, there's just so many different issues that people were having. It's either they there were camps that they had before um, that they had signed up in years past, but those filled up right away. I know one parent that I actually talked to in the story, uh, Mandy, she's an East Amherst resident. She said that the camp that she used to send her kids to, they, she, it opened up at 9 a.m. one day for the signups, and then it, it filled up by 1 o'clock when she went to go look. Um, another thing now is that she has July covered for her, for, her, um, for her daughter that she's looking for, but she still has to look for August. And some parents also mentioned in the Facebook group, they said that, that that same issue, they have July, but they don't have August covered. And for some parents, it's not having the extended care because they need from eight to five, but a lot of camps only run like nine to four, some limited hours. Um, so there's just, there was a lot of different issues that parents were having that I could honestly could have kept going on and on about. Um, it would have been hard to condense it obviously all into the one piece, but there's a lot of different issues that parents were facing that they were telling me. And the nice thing about 
about it too, along with that thread of people sharing their concerns, they, a lot of people were also sharing some different camps that still had availability. Cause that's also another thing too, is that a lot of these camps, again, they're just not filled up or they're already filled up um, with their spots. Um, and one person that I talked to as well, was the president and CEO from Sutilage. Sutilage, they have multiple locations throughout Western New York. And she says for, for her camps, they have uh, they have about 12,000 like slots open for kids to sign up to. And already in April, we're in April, they already have 8,000 of those slots filled up. Oh. So she said, yeah, she said the demand is huge. And that's why eventually she had to expand. She expanded to Depew. And then another thing that she brought up as well is that there's a huge lack of camps in the South Towns. So a lot of these South Town kids are coming up to the North Towns and then that's filling up all the areas up here in like North Tonawanda, Amherst, all those areas as well. And she says she's been getting calls, emails. Hey, when are you guys going to come down to the South Towns? So the fact that there's also that issue with availability in terms of the location, that's also another thing that parents have been facing as well, um, mm-hmm. because they'll be getting these suggestions of like, oh, you could go to the Museum of Science or somewhere like that. But that's a 20, 25 minute right. drive. If you have work back and forth, that's hard to do. So there's a lot of different issues as to why why but it's just so hard to really dive into all of them all in one piece so Um, adam tomorrow what you're going to do though is give people solutions so we looked at some of the problems today and tomorrow you're going to take a look and find some solutions for parents and some places parents can look at right Yes. So we're so right now and people have already been sending it in, as I said earlier in the Facebook group, people are already commenting it and we're already getting people sending emails. Um, We're going to have we're going to put together a whole list of different summer camps that still have um, still have availability for this summer. Um, We're going to look I'm going to take a look at which ones are available in July, which ones are available in August. We're going to have the pricing available. Um, And if we do get it, if we are able to find enough, we could even look at the kind of camps are they are like, are they just regular summer camps like you see right here with Studelage? Are they sports camps, different stuff like that. So we're going to try to put together Together, like a nice comprehensive list of four people to still check out um, for Smart. the summer. Very good, Adam. Thank you so much. That's something parents are going to be really looking forward yeah. to tomorrow. Um, I want to bring up some of the comments that we've seen so far. Jeanette, for example, saying, I know our church vacation Bible school is worried because they're doing it the week of July 4th. They won't get a turnout. They're worried they might not get a turnout. So she said, message her. And she said that vacation Bible school is a lot of fun. You can go to multiple church camps and it's usually free or for a minimum price. I was a counselor at Vacation Bible School. Yes, and my kids were counselors and they went to Vacation Bible School. Uh-huh. And you're right, it goes all day and yep. generally it's very inexpensive. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, like you were a counselor. So you get counselors like Katie, which is great. They give me all the littlest ones because you know they're the most responsibility, you know? And I'm like, okay, here we go. I remember I had a ton of three-year-olds one year. And Ooh, I, oh my You're goodness. tired afterward too. I felt like I was just like counting all that's the all time. you do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah do but that's that. the key. Like you want to send your kid to camp, but you want to make sure that the camp is going to engage them. Engage, and, and then they come and, home mm-hmm. and they're tired. So Absolutely. I'm thinking right now, because you know, now mine is older. So I'm like, oh, what do you do? Yeah. But we have scout camp this right. summer. So we got a lot of scout camps. Lori today. mentioning she went to Girl Scout camp at Camp Timbercrest in Randolph many moons ago. Oh, very, very cool. Oh, Randolph is beautiful. Aaron went to a camp that was through the YMCA or the Batavia School District camp. It was called Park Program when she was younger, okay. and it lasted all summer. Um, Jason says his camp was Grandma's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that's fun, too. Julie says she's so glad her becoming a parent days are many yesteryears ago. Yeah, oh, it's tough, cool. you know, what? and things are more expensive. And so, you know, my kids are all different. So we had one who did all the sports camps. So yeah. I felt like I would leave here and then we drive around to all the different places and drop them off. And the other one uh, didn't do the sports mm-hmm. camp. So we had like scout camp and then like a sports science camp? camp, scout, scout camp. Scout camp. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of things out there. But um, and now the pamphlets are coming out, too. I yeah. saw at the library, like mm-hmm. summer camp ideas. So. Right. Hopefully you're able to find one. Uh, I know, I know it's tough. I remember seeing like, I think it's the Williamsville camps, like the sports camps that they run. I think that's the one the parents like line up to like get their kids a spot in. The Williamsville one has, um, there's a lot of neat camps they offer. Uh Uh, I think, you know, I think my kids, some might be aging out of some of them though. So it's tough. They're they're geared toward the young ones. Right now in my head, I'm thinking, ooh, maybe I could find a swim one. Ooh. He likes to swim. And I tell you, your kid swims. 
They are tired. So I was a lifeguard <laughs> for a summer camp for a long time. Elmwood Franklin had a summer camp. I don't know if they do anymore or not, but um, that's where I was a lifeguard. They would swim at McKinley High School, and okay. I was their lifeguard there, and I would teach them swimming, and nice. I would get like three or four different classes of kids, and then I'd go back to the camp and help them with like whatever they needed for the day. I swam Saturday, and let me tell you, the rest of the day I was like, oh, yeah. I just want to eat it's and take a nap. It yeah. is. Yeah. It gets to be a little bit tiring. Okay, so that's cool. So let's talk about these sleep unders, because I would love to hear what parents have to say about this. All right, so okay. instead of a sleepover, which we already kind of talked about how like some people might be weirded out by that or unsure if they're going to let Yeah, them sleepover, you drop your kid off at somebody's house and you say, yeah, see you tomorrow. Like, okay, Hopefully. if you really yeah. know the family and you yeah. really trust them or whatever, but you know your kids sometimes meet kids at school if you camp is a perfect example. And like, yeah. you don't know the other family that well yet. Okay, so here's this thing called the sleep under that people are suggesting. It's like, I'll say, hey, I'll host. Your kids can come to my house. Okay. Bring their jammies. Okay. okay? So we'll do just like a sleepover. We're going to do pizza for dinner. We're going to put our pajamas on. We're going to watch a movie. And you pick them up at midnight. Like, oh. give them a late night. Let everybody get tired. Let them do all the sleepover things. But then everybody goes home and sleeps in their own bed. Well, what do you okay. think? Okay. Well, works for me. I mean, midnight. Oh. At, well, I know, I know, I know. but like, I get you. as a resident parent, did you let your kids do sleepovers? And we like, were very anti-sleepover. I was going to ask. Okay. And like, tell me about that because like, what's the reasoning behind that? Because, well, I mean, I know all their friends, but still, you know, teens and sleepovers, you can end up. And you know what? The main thing was the phones because mm -hmm. these kids don't realize they're mm -hmm. being goofy mm -hmm. and you're filming stuff that'll mm -hmm. be on the internet forever. Right, right. And so that was our big thought. Smart. But probably, thinking back, they would stay until, say, midnight, and then we would pick them up. Yeah. So maybe we might you, be ahead of the curve the here. Unders. Yeah, the sleep unders. <laughs> I am all for that. Like, Founded by the Minkowski. Yeah, I mean, hey, if they want to go have fun and be goofy till midnight, and then we'll pick you up, they could think it's a late night. I would think that's a late night. Yeah. Um, and then uh, pick them up and then call it a day, say, hey, how was it? Great, awesome. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot less worry, I think, on everyone's end. So Sherry thinks it's a great idea. Kelly says, geez, that was daughter at her sleepovers, always picked up by midnight, but they did host a lot of sleepovers at their house. Okay. Kim says, I think it's good. My kids were home at night. Joy says, I really like that idea, Katie. Then there's no hassle in the morning either. I'm with you. And then you, you know those two, the kids stay up way too late. Mm -hmm. So say you're picking them up at nine. And they're just a mess the whole next mm -hmm. day. So, yeah, you know, just right. all right, get you at midnight. Then you're probably fall asleep in the car. And then, boom, you sleep in 1230 to 830. Love that. Yeah. Okay, Jeanette says, sleepovers are fun, though. We even wrote a song that we would sing to ask for a sleepover pre-phones, though. Mm. I think I would be like Aaron these days. Yeah. Catherine says, we didn't allow sleepovers until third grade when they were old enough to recognize dangers. Oh. Also, the kids are always <laughs> miserable the next day. Yes, <laughs> they're always yeah. miserable. They're so miserable. And you keep them up yeah. super late. Like, yeah. any event. I mean, even New Year's Eve, okay, we're going to watch the ball drop, which I never make. Yeah. And then they Fair. stay up, and then the next day, I'm like, hey, anybody want to do anything? Uh -huh. Oh, so tired. Yeah, right. Sh uh, Shirley says, we have three daughters. They're older now, but I was very fussy about where our girls stayed overnight. Robin says, sleepovers at grandparents. There you go. Safe oh, my God, I loved sleeping over at my grandma's house. She would make you anything you wanted. Oh, grandparents are the best. Like That's the best. She would always make bacon in the morning. And she would always do <laughs> eggs in the morning. It was Is there so anything great. better than the smell of, like, bacon and meat no, in the morning? No, it was so much fun. Like, grand yeah, you know grandparents let you get away with whatever, oh, too. Oh, totally. Am they I... get you on ice cream, and they were like, yes, we do. My mother-in-law tried to feed my middle child one year cake frosting for breakfast. I got mad when I was like, are you? No. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this kid's high energy as it is, and we're going to give him cake frosting for breakfast. Okay, so I'm that not going to lie. I watched my godson in the fall for a weekend. His parents had to go out of town. He was two. And um, I got him some yogurt, and he was like, can I have sprinkles on my yogurt? First of all, it took me forever to understand what he was saying because he was oh. like, sprinkle, <laughs> I'm like, help me here. Finally figured it out, and I'm like, sprinkles on your yogurt? Yeah. Pump, 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 pump. Give him all the sugar. That's what sure, I man, you're shipping them out. It was fine. Here's a Mountain Dew to go. I had him for a couple yeah. days, and he was fine. Oh, we just ran around. Well, sprinkles, not kink batter. No, cake it wasn't. It wasn't. But then, guess out of what? A can. Every time I pulled out the yogurt after that, he sprinkles. wanted it. And my girlfriend tells me, who I watched, you know, his mom. She goes, "We did that one time. Of course, he'd remember it for like whenever yeah. anybody else yeah. was over there. Yeah. So it's super fun. That's awesome." Uh, Jason says, "I would let my kids do sleepovers. One of my female cousins had sleepovers in the '90s." Lori said, "We usually spent the night at our grandparents' house. Lars says grandma's house was the best." Kelly, I cannot wait for sleepovers as the grandma. Oh, that's nice. Kim, going back to day, day camps are good now, but if my children were smaller, no sleepovers. Shirley says, "Anything goes." 
at there grandma and grandpa's house. That's true. Um, I we had sleepovers when I was younger, but obviously like only with my girlfriends. And I also started at a grade school and then went to high school with these girls yeah. because I went to St. Grace and I went to Sacred Heart. So it was all girls. And I feel like by the time you'd been with these people for like all these years, I mean, our the families parents are all, well, yeah. Really close. yeah, yeah. They're all mm -hmm. going to know each other, especially yeah. at a smaller school like that. Right. Like for example, my godson is the son of one of those girls who I used to do sleepovers with. There you go. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, we, well, you grew extended. up and you went from kindergarten to 12th grade with. So exactly. if, if your parents, I know your mom and dad, Yeah. if they had, there were a lot of rules. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You know, there were a lot and of rules. And if they were like, okay, blah, 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 makes me uncomfortable. You're not going. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. would say blah 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 oh, you're yeah. not going you know what we were never allowed to do i think i did it once and i got in so much trouble i don't know if my mom she, my mom's watching right now i wonder if she's thinking about it we were never allowed to ask if we could sleep over at someone's house in front of that person or their parents oh like yeah. if you asked in because if your parents were going to tell you no like and you were like why you know why? what I mean? right yeah. so like, we were never like i did it one time and i like still remember it to this day I don't know if my mom even remembers what I do. I got now she's a lot of typing trouble. furiously. I remember. I got in a lot yeah. of trouble for that one. Yeah. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah says, I don't know if I'll ever trust other families when my kids are old enough to have sleepovers. We had tons when my sisters and I were kids. And we talk about it, though. It's a different time. I don't know. I, You're right with the phones. I think it's the phones. Like that, I mean, different. I, I, I don't know, like, uh, that. But I just think the phones, like, say, blah, blah, blah. Someone falls asleep. And they're like, oh, it's you know, record them sleeping. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I just, there's too many variables now with phones and your brains are just not developed at no. that age. And you can make some, uh, really goofy mistakes. That, now that you don't we want. used to like get together as girls and be like, let's call the boys in our, let's call Aaron Minkowski. Hi, is Aaron there? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Playing video games right now. What do you want? We're really wild. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was what we did. Oh my God, we yeah. got another phone oh, that you that's hang so up. Funny. Uh, yeah. See my mom, I, there were a lot of rules. We know, MB. We know. She's, she's still watching me. Yeah. Uh, Jeanette says, I really think the phone and the internet, my sleepover truth or dare, seems so silly now. And Kim says she really agrees with what you have to say about oh. the phones. Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's true. It's it's, true. Hey, let me tell you, parenting, not easy. I give all the parents out there a lot of credit. There are so many things that you have to worry about. You got to navigate, yeah. right? Navigate. Thank you. And like sweating the small stuff is just i don't even bother with that anymore god <laughs> i sweat everything so i don't yeah, even yeah yikes i'm trying to pull up rest all the restaurant week stuff too oh right now. okay let's go <laughs> thank you <laughs> talk about restaurant week but i can't get all of the restaurants to load okay let's see here load more how many are doing it oh, there's a bunch but i can oh only, you're only in the a's and i the can b's? only get up to the b's well that's a ton i know Okay, let me see. You know what's crazy on restaurant week when you, I just looked at your screen real quickly there is how many restaurants I've never even heard of. I guess that's why we have restaurant week so I can get out and try these because, you know, I'm watching this morning and they're showing food. I'm like, ooh, that yeah. looks good. That okay, looks good. If I go to the I website that. this way, I wonder if it's just that a lot of people are looking at it. So it's kind of, I can't get past the bees. So guess what? We're going to talk about the bee restaurants. Okay. <laughs> I Let's can't go. get past them. Um, like Ed's always like, oh, have you been to blah, blah, blah? Ed always tries the newest yeah. and like the place. It was kind of like the place I was the in Napa. The unlocks its doors. And Ed is like in the door. They're like, oh, hello, first patron. Hello, first yeah, Yes. Crazy. Oh, my mom. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, love does she it. love to bring up a good controversy. How about the attempt at the co-ed sleepovers after prom? Oh, you know it, MB. And I tried. And yeah. do you think I won? <laughs> <laughs> that was not allowed. The co-ed sleepover. The attempt at the, the attempt, she yeah, calls it. The attempt. I'm yeah. Like, Come on, it's like a big group of it's just a bunch Yeah, every time both of those parents are there. It's parents really were there. Whatever. Katie, you're coming home. Yeah. Well, guess who never went to a co-ed sleepover? You're looking at her right now. Uh-uh. Nope. But in college, in the dorms, there's like boys and girls on the same floor. So you had to wait like what? A few months? That's true. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yep, that was yeah. no, not I'm happening. Like, yeah. Uh Let's see. So I used to hate it with sleepover, but he didn't like to go other places, other friends, but, but enjoy when people would house. sleep over at their sure. house. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay. Jeanette says, let's go to bees. Let's find a bee restaurant that I has never heard of Marguerite. <laughs> <That's the girl. laughs> Marguerite, you're so funny. Um, oh, really quick. And Danielle saying times have changed. Back in the day, most of the mischief we got into was prank phone calling on a landline. Yeah. Yes, that's like what I was talking about. We, Hi, Aaron Mikowski. <laughs> the first one to fall asleep, I put shaving cream in their hands and tickled their face or color it on their face with a washable marker. We did a lot of like um, nails, facial like things like that. 
Sure. You guys played video games. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was video. Who could be the last person to continue playing? Yeah, that's so <laughs> NHL. All those NHL games, and uh, they came out when I was younger. Yeah, no, we didn't do that. <laughs> we like ate junk and <coughs> did our nails. Um, Tiger Woods golf. That was a big. We one. actually had someone stay with us this weekend. I don't know if I was. I, I think I was telling you this, and it was Paul's friend and his daughter, and his daughter was like fifteen. Yeah. And I walked upstairs. I think I told you this. You told me all about it. And I like. And it smelled good. Smelled like this vanilla coconut i'm like oh my god what she's like oh i just sprayed some shampoo dry shampoo vanilla coconut or whatever in my hair and i was like can you stay forever like it's so nice to have another girl here you want the smell of men and it doesn't smell awful like <laughs> i get you <laughs> we've got my brother downstairs we've got the big giant dog we've got my husband nobody's spraying vanilla coconut. you know what paul, you know what i need paul to do i need him to join me to play hockey because then he can put his hockey equipment up in the. That's okay. We don't skate well either. Okay. <laughs> so then he can put his hockey stuff up there, and I you know, can be like, "This smells like, everything horrible." Everything stinks. Yeah. And I walked upstairs, and this girl had this like. I'm like, "Oh my god." I love that coconut vanilla. I didn't know that it was a combo that you could. Oh my god! It smelled so good. Yeah, I would be like, "Where'd you get that?" That sounds awesome. But it was fantastic. I'm gonna try to get her to come back. Okay. Um, okay. So we're hitting what the restaurant. Let me read a few of them. You know, we should go this week and be like, "Ed, have you been to?" Blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, oh, I was there three years ago. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Is it in Napa? Yeah. Um, Barrel Factory, that's in Buffalo. Okay. Bacchus, you know, it's right on Chippewa. That one I know. Bella Chow, that's um, in the old, or in the Embassy Suites. It's like the, uh, it was a steakhouse at one point. It's in the Avant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so they've changed it to that? It is now, yeah. Gotcha. Bella Dolce Cafe, that's in, on Delaware Avenue, oh, Kenmore. Big Ditch, we know. Big Ditch, Grill. Boy, do I wish more would load. Boy, do I wish that, but can't. Well, I've actually been to a couple of these. Um, there's a couple more that because I, I got the numbers too, as you can imagine. Yeah. 16 Ellicott Bar and Grill into Pew. 1818 okay. Bar and Grill. 42 North at the Flats. I hear great things about this place. 99 Brick Oven Bar and Grill. It's out in Lancaster. See, we okay. don't get out that way much, but I hear the food there is really good. That's cool. Has anybody ever been? Have you? Can you see what kind of deals they have? Um, well, let's um, see, because before website. it wasn't working, but let's, let's pick them, for example. Yeah, 99 Brick, okay. View the Restaurant Week menu. Yes, okay. Nice. So they have a lunch one? They have a local Restaurant Week lunch menu. Okay. For $15, you could get a Royal Parmesan pizza, a chicken caprese sandwich, jumbo chicken wings, or a hot roast beef sandwich for 15 bucks. Ooh, you know what? A roast beef sandwich sounds delicious right House now. House-made gravy, white bread and fries. Oh, gravy and fries. <laughs> Aaron just wants me to read them. I am ready for that. There's nothing <laughs> better than gravy and fries. <laughs> okay. Really? Like, what a combo. Like, who thought that up? <laughs> okay, here's 42 North at the Flats. You can get a brew and a flatbread, so a beer and a flatbread, and you get your choice of, they must have different Is this comments. a lunch one? I can't do a lunch say. beer. I'll be asleep by one. I, it must be, because it says a, a beer, a wine, or an N.A. beverage. So okay, okay, I box. can do that. Yep. 25 bucks. And then dinner for two for 45 you get an entree salad, a flatbread, and then two drinks. Awesome. Let's do one more just for the yeah, habit. I Which one do you want me to do? La, 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 la. You want me to try this one in Kenmore? Um, I don't know what it is. ABV, Acropolis. What's this? This the, one? Um, there's, what's 1818? Go to 1818, because that's an NT. 1818 Bar and Grill on Sweeney Street in North Tonawanda. That's one I could do. Okay, this is loading right now. Here's their specials. Okay, they do... A $20 Ooh, that for looks fancy. any sandwich, burger, or flatbread, plus your choice of a side salad or soup. Okay. A meal for two, an appetizer, a side salad, and a soup for each. Then two choices, sandwich, burger, or flatbread, and that's $35. Is that... Um, for two people. That is great. Now, where is that? 1818 18, Western? This is on uh, Sweeney, Sweeney Street. And then they have a okay. dinner for two also. Oh, uh, with a bottle of wine. Wow. An appetizer, a side salad, or soup for each, any two dinners, and a bottle of wine. All right, I'm glad we chose that one. Thank you for I your know that I... the dining experience in NT is really taking off. Okay, look, I, and by the way, everybody's saying that 99 brick oven. Maybe we got to go check that out. It's out in Lancaster. <laughs> yeah. water. That is true. Everybody says how good it is. Um, 1818 is a Deerhead Deer. Oh, it's Deerwood Golf, Deer Golf Course, right? Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That yeah, that makes sense. I uh, drive by that all the time. Yeah. So there you go. Those are some good options. I think all right. came up with. I used to and play Deerwood the all the time when I was little. Yeah. We only made it to the bees and we had some great options. Oh, that's awesome. And um I didn't that is cool. That East was side. pretty good too. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's Southern Junction. <laughs> oh, that's Southern Junction video, right, John? Look at that. 
Yeah, at Southern Junction. Um, Are you? They're on the list me? for the James Beard Award. The, well, like, they should be. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, I could watch food videos, like <sighs> Jeff and sports videos. Me. The wine sealed the deal. Yeah, I didn't know where the wine was. That was at the one that we were just that 18, saying, 18? 18, 18. So that's Deerwood Golf Course. That's yeah. super easy to get to. So there we go. Yeah. All right, we got to run. Hey, thanks for being here this morning. Oh, oh. good combo. It's uh, been a blast. Can't wait to do it again. Okay. <laughs>